Professor Agnew. We're talking about uh, the use of pesticides, and farmers don't like spending money. You know, they don't want to use these things. They only use them because they have to. They walk in the field, they see the crop is being smothered by weeds or it's being uh, plastered with a fungus or there are insects attacking it, carrying viruses. They then have to act. And Anthea McIntyre was talking about the integrated pest management. I think that's a very good idea because um, the biological control of pests is, is certainly worth trying and more research into that area would be very, very welcome. But it can be a bit slow. There can be a lag. So by the time the ladybirds have bred in large enough numbers to eat the aphids, the aphids have put the virus into the plant. And once the virus is in there, you'll never get it out again. So they have to act. There are three sorts of pesticides, and it worries me that they just get lumped together. You've got the insecticides, the fungicides, and the herbicides. And integrated pest management could help with insecticides and fungicides, but with herbicides, it, it's a different matter altogether, killing a weed. Uh, the only alternative is to use mechanical hose or rakes, and yet they have their own problems. Taking a rake through a field at seven miles an hour, which is fast for a tractor, this rake will kill baby hares, eggs, ground-nesting birds, anything in its wake it will destroy. And, of course, if it rains afterwards, the weeds re-establish. This is no panacea at all. Herbicides are probably the biggest problem. Uh, I've noticed over my farming career that the amount of active ingredient that are in the, the, the herbicides has, has come down a lot. It used to be very high, and for, to te due to technology, etc., they've managed to reduce that. So that's a good thing. But farmers have another dilemma. They're tempted to cut the rate. And you might think, well, that's great less on the ground. The problem is when you cut the rate, you induce resistance, and so the, uh, the herbicide becomes useless after that. Uh, very quickly, Chairman, um, some water companies in Britain are saying to farmers, look, you may be obeying a law. We are finding the slug pellets and the material in the water. We will pay you not to use it. Uh, and, oh, I just wanted to ask the rapporteur, I do hope she's included uh, rotenone and copper hydroxide. These are two uh, pesticides that organic farmers use. Have you included that? Thank you.